Hail. What's the definition of sunnah? Like people say that since the Prophet ﷺ used to cover his head, so wearing a cap is a sunnah. He used to keep long hair, so it's a sunnah, etc. Can you kindly explain the exact concept of sunnah? First of all, the scholars say that sunnah can be defined in two ways. So we have the five rulings, which are mandatory, obligatory, known as wajib. Then we have mustahab, or recommended, or voluntary, or sunnah. Then we have permissible, mubah. Then we have makruh, which is not recommended, disliked. And finally, we have prohibited, which is haram. So sunnah comes in the second level, which is something that is recommended. If you do it, you're rewarded. If you don't do it, you're not sinful. This definition goes in line with the process of fuqaha, the jurors. While the usul al-fiqh, fundamentals of fiqh, they say that sunnah is the way of the Prophet ﷺ. So whatever the Prophet did is considered to be sunnah. So the Prophet prayed five times a day. Jurors say this is fard. Usul al-fiqh scholars say that this is sunnah. This is the way of the Prophet ﷺ. Others say um, uh, uh, that the Prophet performed once hajj in his life. This is sunnah because he did it. So it, by this definition, they say sunnah can be anything that the Prophet said or he did or he approved in front of him, being done and he approved it. And fourthly, they say anything that has a description of himself. This is how usually scholars define and uh, uh, um, describe to us what sunnah is. Now what Suhail is asking about, this is what the scholars say is divided into two different definitions of sunnah. Sunnatul ibadah and sunnatul adah. Sunnatul ibadah is whatever the Prophet did والسلام, as a form of worship. So he prayed two rak'ahs after dhuhr. This is sunnat ibadah. He, when performing tawaf, did al ittiba' where he uncovered his right shoulder with his ihram. This is sunnatul ibadah. When, uh, for example, entering the masjid, you enter it with the right foot. For those who say that this is part of the sunnah and exit it with the left. This is ibadah. Now, aada means culture, custom, habit. And this is not related to Islam. This is related to traditions. So if we say that the Prophet ﷺ used to commute from point A to point B on a mule or a donkey, would anyone in his right mind say, ah, oh, this is a form of worship. Tomorrow I'm going to uh, Wall Street or I live in Manhattan or whatever. I'm, I'm going to take my mule to work or go to the gym. Of course not. The prophet used to sit on the floor. So you don't go to a five or seven star hotel and leave the table and sit on the floor because this is sunnah. No, this is not sunnah. This is a ada a tradition, a cultural thing that the Prophet used to do because his people used to do it. Likewise, prolonging the hair, likewise braiding the hair to some of the Arabs. This is how they used to do, not part of religion. Likewise, when uh, wearing a waist wrapper or an apron like that people wear on their, it's like a skirt, like a kilt, but it's on your waist. You don't go to the office or to the masjid wearing this because this is customary. This is according to what your people wear. If I wear this and I go to the 
uh, Friday khutbah to deliver the Friday, they will pull me down. They say, what are you doing? This is not our customs. I would say, oh, this is sunnah. I said, no, it's not sunnah. Otherwise, where's your mule? Where's your donkey? Where's your camel that the Prophet used to ride at his salsam? And so on. So wearing the cap is from that type. You're not rewarded for it. And especially if you only put it on when you go to pray, like some of the brothers in the subcontinent do. Some of them even just place a handkerchief and they tie it on their head for prayer. And afterwards, they fold it and put it in their pockets. I've seen this in uh, uh, Turkey, in, in Bosnia, Herzegovina, when we go to the, uh, uh, to the masjid and they throw to us uh, uh, head caps to pray with when we don't want to wear it. I don't know what's in it, uh, uh, what kind of, of, of uh, diseases or fleas in it. I don't want to end up fleeing my hair. So this is all customs and it has nothing to do with the sunnah of the Prophet alayhi as-salatu wasalam.